It is Monday, September the 9th, 2024. I am James. You are you. We are here for what might be one of the most monumental episodes in the history of this itsy bitsy internet program. Not because it's episode 496, not because we have got a great big announcement, but for the fifth time, two men with the exact same last name, with no familial affiliation, will go head to head, toe to toe, face to face, mano y mano, right here on the air. And by the air, I mean the information super highway known as the internet tonight andy asaf takes on anthony asaf in a battle to determine who is beyond any shadow of a doubt the greatest current living asaf walking god's green earth how are you you doing good you hanging in there are you living life in the fast lane? Surely make you lose your mind. I'll tell you who ain't me. I'm in the carpool lane. And trust me when I say I'm moving slow, slow. So I'm giving a slug a run for their money. A couple things to back that ass up on, as I might say periodically on here. Episode 496. The show began in 2020. We are getting closer and closer to episode 500. I'm putting it out there right now. The weeks don't add up. The math don't add up. I'm announcing Monday, September 30th, the 500th episode. I know what you're saying. You're saying hey, the numbers don't add up. The math don't add up. You think I'm afraid to add bonus shows as the weeks go on? You think I'm scared of that? The only thing I'm scared of is the tax man. And I got news for you, tax man. You can kiss my tiny derriere. Episode 500, September 30th, 2024, right here, twitch.tv slash at home with James. Tell your mom, dad, auntie, unky, brother, sister, Grammy, grampy, tell your best friend, tell your neighbor. Hell, you could tell your worst enemy for all I care. And do I care? You bet I do. Now, on to the big announcement that was teased and tantalized on our crappy Instagram account at at home with James show over the weeks we've been talking about what are we going to do how are we going to level up how are we going to get into another atmosphere how are we going to get into another ionosphere I don't even know if ionosphere is the thing it sounds good I think it's a thing I'm nine out of ten confident the announcement is as follows on Saturday, October 19th, 2024, at home with James, live and in person, three, coming to a theater, a comedy club, a venue near you. Information is going to be pouring out soon. It is going to be seeping out. I can feel it pussing out of my pores as I speak to you, from my voice to your ears. What's the show going to be? Completely improvised. We don't know what's going to happen. We're going to make it up as it goes along. Not so different than this show. But as mentioned, stay tuned for all the information. It is going to come to you like the tooth fairy might come to you in the evening when you were nothing but a wee tot, knee-high to a grasshopper with your itsy-bitsy, disgusting teeth under your pillow, and it visits you to give you a little treat. But that's on the 19th. Stay connected for all information and updates as follows. Now on to the matter at hand. Two men. They sicken each other. They disgust each other. To say that they hate each other would be a gross understatement. Let us welcome two freaks. Two sickos. Two men hell-bent on the destruction of each other and anyone that has the last name that they bear, please welcome both Anthony and Andy Asaf to the show. Gentlemen, welcome back as the great Aaron Lewis, lead singer of Stained, 
once said, it's been a while. Anthony, I want to start with you. You're motorboating nothing. Unless unless you're you're tweaking uh two jahoobs and you're just that's exactly what I'm doing, James. I, I uh, love it. I said you were a yeah. sicko. I said you were a freak. You're living up to that. He's doing the Nixon. I, I am. I uh, yeah. I mean Nixon was a freak. That's that's what everybody <laughs> oh, knows. Oh yeah, so, total you know. freak in the sheets. Oh, I want to yeah. I want to get to the matter at hand. Anthony, tell us where you're coming to us from tonight. <laughs> I am calling in live from uh the great Barcelona. This is this is unbelievable. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tell them what time it is. It is currently three fourteen a.m. Yeah, it's I am calling it's Wednesday. I, no, it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday, three fourteen a.m. You guys are in the past, and I'm living in the future, baby. Is there anything we can look forward to? Uh, you can look forward to me speaking a bit of Spanish here and there. Mm. Uh, me amo, Anthony. Who? Let ya ya tengo trentena uno años. Huh? I'm 31 years old. I have I have 31 years of life. Whoa! Is, hold man. on a minute. You're 31. Did, did you not know that? <laughs> what What happened? When did I get so much older than everybody? What What? Oh, you when you 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 recently celebrated your like 36th birthday? 37. I, I wish it was my 36th birthday. I'm 37. My bro, heaven. Well, you know. Wait a minute. You, you. Wait a minute, you, Andy. You how old younger. are you? I'm 31. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Why? Uh, why does God be this way? Sorry, old man. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Andy, let's go to you. You're back for another try. You have never once defeated Anthony in this competition. You got the guns. We got the tickets. How are you feeling coming into tonight? Currently. Look. When when you set this up, you said that that there are two men that don't hate each other more. I have no ill will against my brethren who is not related to me. You say what that I have ill will. You say that is the rigged the way it was. It was rigged. It was okay, it was yeah. fixed. Calm down, okay? Trump. It was fixed. Calm the the Donald over here. Two, three, uh, numerous uh, matchups here. I don't want any funny business. I don't want any, uh, any, any, any bullshit going on here. If oh, I can use oh, my French, whoa. okay. Mm. I'm using my forget Spanish. I'm using my French here. What so French? bullshit? All right. So yeah, I'm ready to go, James. Throw at me what you will, I'll still win. Luckily for you, Andy, and maybe unluckily for Anthony, our friend currently coming to us from Spain, there is no language portion of tonight's competition. But I do have news. The way things are going to work tonight, as they have in the past similarly, is the competition is going to be broken up into three categories. Mm. you're going to be competing this is for lack of a better term a bit of a decathlon they're going to force you to think about things in a different way we've done math we've done science we've done physical exams all brand new competitions wouldn't a decathlon imply 10 different events James? well this yeah, is uh, this I is on... side with andy on this one it's a <laughs> triad okay there's literally a word for it james is there well it's a good thing that i am not <laughs> part of this competition tonight and I'm going to tell you right now, I had no idea that the Cathalon triathlon, it Deca. denoted how many items were mm-hmm. part of it. So it's I'm great. learning, and, and I will say that because, uh, Anthony, you um, you kind of educated me on this. I'm giving you one James point. It has no bearing what? on the competition. You. What? You I'm the one who corrected you. Because it's the I, fifth I gave edition. the right word. It's true. Well, I fooled you all because the Cathalon is actually, I think, 10 miles. Eight. Well, no, Andy, Deca I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, no, I know. Uh, I'm, just... I'm redacting whatever what? point I would have given you for trying to be a know-it-all <laughs> because this is a monumentous occasion. It's the fifth installment. I thought, how do we take it up a notch? There might be people being, oh, they're going back to the well. Episode 500's on the way. They're trying to, to dig up bones from the past. I thought, is there any way that we can make a sap versus a sap? even more important and i i found something today in my in my moments of deep thought i was sitting in the tub having a soak i thought how do you take it up a notch we win a <laughs> pair of james's underwear now i wish it was that good guys i have found a third asaf what <laughs> no there is a, a hey. third asaf who's gonna be he joined uh, the call he better he better do the oh accent my God. 
a third he better Asaf, do his classic accent. <laughs> there's Anthony Asaf. There's Andy yeah. Asaf. Yeah. I tracked this guy down on Kijiji. No. He's a wow. power user. like to welcome to the show. It's his first time appearance alert. Please welcome Andre Asaf. Wow. <laughs> Hey, hey, Andre. Hey, guys. How's it going? Wow, you have a pass a very similar resemblance to my dad, Mike Asaf, who I thought was joining us. But nice to well, meet you. Well, that's uh, not surprising. We're cousins. Yeah. What? This, this, it, you now, basically now, also look my, like I my dad. I did my dad, recon Joseph on Asaf. this. I did my recon. Uh, Andre, would you like to break down the lineage that, that you uh, alleged to have? Sure. Well, you know, I'm part of the Asaf family. We're all cousins. Here's a question, Andre. Are, are, is your family Muslim or Christian? You know, uh, we're non-denominational, but we sort of uh, oh. we, we we practice everything. We respect everyone. Doesn't sound I, like I, it a staff. I, I really thought that you were going to say Jewish, because honestly, <laughs> that would have been that would have been great. Well, we are part Jewish too. What oh, the hell? Yeah. Now, now it feels like you affiliate to a variety of things, Andre. Sure. Yeah. I'm, I would. Uh, you know, I'm somewhere in the middle of uh, the Asaf family. My uh, my father's side. Is related to Andy's, as you know, Andy, and my mother's side uh, is related to Anthony, as you know, Anthony, and so we're actually all sort of related, even though you two aren't related yourselves. So, so if I'm understanding, okay. Andre, you are affiliated, or rather, related to both Andy and Anthony, but they have no affiliation from a familial standpoint. That's correct. Mm -hmm. It's my parents are first cousins. All right. What, what, oh, what city? What city in Lebanon are they from? Sorry. Oh, they're uh, they're immigrants. Yeah, and what, they're, what, they, they immigrated city? to Lebanon. They immigrated to Lebanon, so they're not from. Oh, that's Lebanon. interesting. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are they from okay. originally? They're from uh, Canada. Oh. Oh. Okay. They're a little uh, a little I, bit of a reverse I Lebanon. I, yeah, I yeah we question. call it that at home too. Yeah, Anthony. <laughs> the result, yeah. Uh, so Andy is calling us from Toronto. I'm calling you us. I'm calling you guys uh, from Barcelona. Where are you calling us from? Me. Yeah, it's a nice background, yeah, Andre. There. Yeah. I'm in a hotel apartment. It's actually an Airbnb. Oh wait, it's a hotel so, apartment. So it's a ho a B &B. So Anthony's in a hotel. I'm in an apartment. Yeah. You're kind of somewhere in between. Yeah, in somewhere in between apartment. both of you. Yeah. So yeah. it's a long. Are you are you in the are you in the middle of the Pacific Ocean or the Atlantic Ocean? I mean, you might say that. I'm in Iceland. You know. So yeah, all right. <laughs> okay, check it out. Well, uh, I, w I want to go to the uh, Andy. Design Andy, back Andy there. Uh, initial thoughts. This is going to be a a triangle match of sorts. How do you feel? Mm -hmm. Me first. Who, yeah. Who, yeah. Did you say Andre? Uh, no, I said Andy. Oh, sorry. Look. Sorry, Andre. Look, it's okay. I'm. You could throw fifty assafs at me, okay, and it won't matter. It won't matter because at the end of the day. I'm the top of SAF. We all know that from the last competition. Okay, it was rigged. Okay, it was set up. Okay, you, I always say lock him up. Well, I already lock said all this. Uh, Anthony, let's go to you. Immediate reaction. Um. Well, this, this is the classic uh, rock, paper, scissors competition. Let me tell you one, one thing. I am all three of them. I'm the awesome. rock, the paper, and the scissors. All right, Andre, your first time competing on the show. How do you feel going into tonight's event? I mean, and I watched the show recently, a Squid Game, mm -hmm. and uh, this kind of feels like that. Yes, All right. Well, we are going to kick things off with our first competition. This is called Missing Letters. Uh, so Andy, sorry, sorry to interrupt, James. Uh, Andy, you don't seem that happy to see me. No, no, I'm. I again, I'm not. I couldn't be more phased. If you were Mike Asaf, that maybe would have been mm. interesting. Well, he or is Mike Asaf's cousin. Yeah. Joseph, Joseph Asaf. I know Joe. Yeah, my dad. Yeah. The yeah. Lebanese cowboy himself. Now, then we How do we been, get that guy on the show? Then we How do we get the been, Lebanese cowboy? <laughs> hey, maybe I'll be mean, next uh, week and, and I'll, I'll find I'll, a I'll, hat. I'll, I'll tell you one thing. My, my, uh, that, that is not a joke. My dad had a phase in his life where he was very much into country music. Oh. And he actually owns a pair of cowboy boots. And uh, used to go line dancing. Well, up, hold on. We uh, might up, have, up a, uh, if this we might have early, a new character on tap. If this was the, early uh, 2021, the <laughs> person here. if this was early 2021, you know I would have been on this show as the Lebanese cowboy. All right. Uh, Asafs, let's, uh, let's all calm down. I okay, know sorry, this, sorry, uh, sorry. Our first yeah. competition 
is called Missing Letters. You are going to be provided a phrase that, as the title might lead you to believe, has missing letters. It is your duty to try to fill in the blanks and try to guess the sentence in which these missing letters are a part of. Anthony, we're going to start with you because traditionally you've been winning these competitions hand and foot. So you're going to begin. You're going to set the pace. I'm going to ask Anthony. I'm going to ask Andre, Andy, anyone who might happen to be only listening to tonight's episode to fire up the player in which you can watch this episode, twitch.tv slash at home with James. And the statement with the missing letters is going to appear. So, Anthony, the floor is yours. Yeah. The first statement is on the screen. You'll notice that yeah. it is the same letter, maybe missing throughout this statement. So, mm -hmm. you've got blank, like blank, blank, blank. Yeah, yeah. I can I can see that right now in front of my screen. Yeah. Um, I mean, this one seems pretty easy. It's the one letter that unites all three of us here. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll I'll go with and I'm gonna lock it in. I'll go with A. All right. So I'd like to see uh, from our tech team. Devin's working the board tonight. It's first time working the board. If we could get the statement back on screen, you're saying that it is A that's missing from all of the letters, or rather yeah. words, and that appears to be correct. The statement is, raining like cats and dogs. So Anthony, you continue tonight, just as you do most times, with already success off the hop. You are correct, raining like cats and dogs. Hey, good job, Anthony. Awesome. Look, James, when it comes to my turn, it better be this freaking easy, okay? It better be this Well, again, these are, at this Andy, level. these are all randomized. Um. And so also, gonna, sometimes right. it's it's the person that you know. Maybe maybe Anthony's just really good at this. You know, I am. I, I actually am good at this. I like. I know. I know my letters. I know all twenty six of my letters. So, you know. Andre, we're gonna move on to you. Um, this is your first time competing, so we're gonna be asking Devin to bring your statement up on the screen. It's got some missing letters, just like Anthony did. How are you feeling, Andre? First time competing, a little nervous. I'm a little nervous, uh, you know, but uh, it's really good to see the fam, and, uh, you know, I'm happy to be here. All right, so your statement is on screen. Yeah. Yours is missing a few letters, too. We've missing got... Missing a few. Blank, a blank, blank. Now, uh, if I didn't fill in any of the letters, it would be baiting a dad horse. Yes. But, of course, Four I will... Horse. Sure, yeah. But I will fill them in, and I'm going to say right. that it's... Uh, beating a dead horse, and All you're right, missing go. the E. So I'm going to lock yeah, that let's, in. Let's go to Devin. You've locked it in. More like the theme of this show. Oof. Andy, you're not even behind the eight ball yet. But look, you're acting like look, you're acting like I just like know, I know the fix is in. I know it's coming, okay? I know it's coming. It's going to be some fucking... It's going to be in Klingon, my round. Well, Andre, you uh, correctly guessed... Beating a dead horse, you are correct. So both Andre and Anthony are on the board now. Good job, Andre. I mean, hey, thanks, both, Anthony. Both, I appreciate that. He both have 10 points. Congrats, losers. Okay, hit me. Let's go. You know, there's a lot of hostility, Andy. Um, Has it ever to occurred go? to you that it might be karma that's causing your problems in this game? Hmm. You know... Fuck you, Andre. <laughs> Mamma mia. All right. So the first... Uh, That's all I have to say. First curse of the competition comes in. You were uh, you were swearing earlier. Yeah. Coming in from the chat. Oh, uh, Four Loco Toad is back. Uh, oh, a legendary, A legendary viewer. This person writes, quote, this Andy guy sucks. And the one top right <laughs> mustache. All right. So... <laughs> Four I think that's. Toad. I think he's talking about me, James. Uh, not a fan of Andy or Andre Asaf, <laughs> um, but Andre, we do have our friend Thomas Barnwell uh, chiming in. Uh, quote: Andre Asaf is the missing link. Andy, we're gonna go to you. Wow. All right. So okay. you did, you did mm. not get uh, the luck of the draw. This is bullshit. Okay. So there's gonna be one letter that fills in all of this. Well, so you have two it's letters. A, They're both. It's well. A ba, you, you, uh, 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 now hold on for people for people who don't know i just want to recite what you've got you've got blank 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 and you've got the letter b um 
And four, okay. four, four loco toad has got it. Wait, I think he, I can solve he this. He seems put, like he knows what it is. Put this back on. Put this back on. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> try to try to try to you know try to spell it out. Okay. I think the first one is going to be I. So I think it's going to be I. Blue. I. 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 Burn. I. So the last one were the last few ones were like idioms. So this one's got to be like another one like. It is. Uh, I can tell you it is. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, can you put it back on? Put it back it's on. It's interesting that he's Devin checking. puts it on and then takes it, it away. On, it's Devin. like he's got something out for you here. Well, no, I think Devin's trying to make sure that people see the faces of the people on the show. I believe in yeah. a thing called love. No. This is some bullshit. You know what? Uh, but but I, everyone I wanna, else I, had one letter. I have so I, many letters I, wanna, I have to fill with. I want to step in here. Uh, I... As much as I want to be impartial, I think this is a little unfair to Andy. Um, I do know that a variety of the puzzles were created. They were all randomized. So the ones that Andre and Anthony had could have been Great. any combination of letters. I know Great. that there's another combination of letters. Co uh, Devin, over. could we They're could we bring up the, Devin? Can we bring up the second combination that Andy's got? Is a different combination? Yes. Oh, fuck. oh God. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. Um, so, okay. uh, again, these are all random. Now, yeah. um, Andy, if you want to divert your attention to the chat, Four Loco Toad uh, seems yeah, to be giving I, I you some type of I blew on the cock something something. I blew on the cock or something something we know the last letter is b of the uh the first letter of the last word uh james saying, are we allowed to steal are we allowed to steal well mm. you know i didn't i didn't anticipate this but andre if you think you've got it i don't know anthony do you think it's fair that on andre this new guy can just come in and steal who looks awfully like uh a certain person who 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 is tech the show who are you referring to? I'm talking about Andre. He's he looks like th that guy. Andre the Giant. What guy? Oh, the, the, yeah, Andre the Giant's never tech the show. Andy. The guy who's usually here. You yeah, might be thinking of Andre it. Agassi, maybe. Coming in yeah, from the chat, yeah. uh, it says uh, Four Loco Toad says top right is a total loser. Bottom two are good guys. You see, you see, we have yeah. the chat on our side. Okay, go ahead and steal, Andre. Go ahead. I'll steal. All right. It looks like. Uh, let me let me take another look at it. Yeah, could we could we bring it back on the mm. screen? I'm gonna say that it's a uh, a bird in the hand is worth two worth in the bush. Two in the bush. I've got it first. I got it first. All right. Well, Devin, let's reveal if that is the correct answer. <laughs> Andre says it's a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Let's see if that's mm. correct. I mean, I, I feel like I could have gotten that one if I stared at it long enough. And oh, that wow. is the correct wow. answer. Wow. Holy, wow. That's great. <laughs> Andre, that's incredible. Hey, thanks. That's wild. And Andre, good why job. Why did I say um, yes to doing yeah. the show? Why did I? Why did I agree to doing this again? I knew the fix was going to be in. Well, it's, it's, each it's correct answer is worth on a Monday night. Nine thirty on a Monday night. Uh, correct answers are worth ten points. So, Anthony, you correctly uh, guessed. Um, what was yours again? Raining like cats and dogs. You you correctly guessed raining like yeah. cats and dogs. Ten points. Andre, you guessed uh, uh, what was you what about a dead horse? Uh, beating, beating a, a dead, dead horse. horse. Beating a dead horse. Ten points. You stole Andy's. Uh, so I guess you got an additional ten points. Oh, James, am I allowed to share? What? Sure. All right, I'll share five of my points with uh, Anthony. Oh, because he uh, got a correct answer? This yeah. is some bullshit. Thanks. This is Not because he's got a nice positive yeah. attitude. Okay, okay. Yeah, well, well, okay Andy, wait, I want to share maybe... one point also with Four Loco Toad in the in the chat. Oh, yeah. Oh, so now you're at 14. Okay, Anthony, here we go. This is this is simple. We, we could take them both down at their own game. If you share all your points to me, I'll now be in the lead. If I share my points with you, I would be third. And yeah, that's a crazy I, bad deal. Them. I'm not going to do that. I share them back later yeah. with interest when I win the next round. Well, look, there is another round. This one's worth 20 points. Okay. There's cool. 20 SAF points on the line. I know that uh, at least Anthony and Andy are fans of film. Andre, do you like film? Sure, yeah, I like a good film. Do you love film? Yeah, I'd say I love, I love some films. Okay. 
Now, now, uh, what's your Anthony, I know you're film, Andre. Yeah. So, yeah. Sorry. What's your favorite? What's your film? favorite film? Uh, uh, we're talking uh, porno or not porno? Not porno. whichever. Uh, I like uh, no. I like Weekend at Bernie's. Anthony, is, your, is that, your, is that your porno film? answer? That's the non-porno porno answer. answer. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that's what Anthony, I what's yeah. your favorite film? My favorite film? God. Uh, Videodrome. Huh? By and David Andy, Cronenberg. Andy, your favorite film? I think that's an impossible question, uh, James, but I will shout out a friend of mine, Paul Spence, actually just came out with a film called Diener 89, which I saw the premiere of, and I suggest... Uh, Anthony, I'm going to revoke another James point from you for name-dropping uh, Canadian celebrities. So now you're negative to Wait, James. Wait, you said Anthony. Yeah, why, why would you why would you take... Is, yeah, is it because I yeah. said David Cronenberg? Yeah, a- Andy, thank you uh, as, as much as I hesitate to. Yeah, he named us Andy. Canadian celebrity, too. Yeah. So you have to take yeah, but no, no, but you s- no, no, you said my. Friend. This is what I mean, Anthony. Okay. Now I want to. You know, you know what? Okay. Rigged. Hold on, hold on. The only on. way you know we'll win is I'm... if we team up here. I'm hey, gonna, Matthew Perry is Canadian. Can I, can I share? Can I share my point? Yeah. Can I share a point? Yeah. I want to share my negative uh, point uh, that you just gave me, James, uh, with Andy. Okay, so what, Andy's like... getting the negative point. That's oh, yeah. <laughs> that's great. Wait, how many negative points did I get before? <laughs> How many negative points? I'm going to share them both with Andre. Now, to recap, Anthony currently has 15 Asaf points. Andre has 14. Four Loco Toad has one. And Andy, you have zero Asaf points and negative two James points. We're moving on to movies. Our friend Rockstar Marlena Moore writes, quote, kick James off. Let's just talk movies. Uh, famously, I'm not a big movie person, but we are talking movies, so everyone is going to be satisfied. This is called Guess the Movie. Oh, okay, I cool. am going to give you synopsises of film, and you mm. to guess what movie it is. You have to give me the title of the movie. Once again, Anthony, you are going to be starting this competition off. Are you ready? All right. I I was born ready. I've seen right. I've seen a lot of movies, so you have either seen or have heard of the film that I'm about to break down. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Here we go. Question one, clue one rather, of the second round, guess that movie. Quote, a poor artist and a rich debutante meet and fall in love on the famously ill-fated maiden voyage I of was a just going to make fun of unsinkable you. I was ship. just going to make fun of you that you were going to pick this movie. I, I didn't pick like, oh, it. These are all randomized. Big ship. What big ship went down? These are all randomized. So once again, now, Andy, you got to let me finish because Anthony needs to hear what it is so he can correctly guess. Yeah. You know what? I'm giving you minus two Andy points for mentioning James Cameron, another Canadian. I never mentioned James Cameron. You just did, so you get a, a third <laughs> negative James point. Um, yeah. Anthony, a James, poor James, artist... the, Hold on, James. Yeah. I, what's, the, what's the currency value exchange of Andy points uh, to... Uh, it got to be worth it. got to be worthless. They gotta be worthless right now. Gotta be worthless. Yeah. 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 Anthony, a poor artist and a rich debutante meet and fall in love on the famously ill-fated maiden voyage of a quote unsinkable ship. Anthony, Mm -hmm. any thoughts, Mm -hmm. guesses? Well, you know, there's a lot of movies that are uh, that are that take place on boats. Mm -hmm. Uh, You know, I could be talking. You could be talking about Pirates of the Caribbean. You could be talking about Ghost Ship. You could be talking about. any other movies? Das uh, Boot, you know, tri- Triangle of Sadness, Speed uh, that's, Two. That's one. That's Speed Two. There, there we go. But um, I, I think we'll go with Titanic. Are you locking it in? I'm, I'm, I'm locking it in. I'm going straight for the iceberg on this one. You are correct. You receive twenty asaf points for a grand total of what is it? Thir- you have thirty-five asaf points right now. Yeah. I'd also thank like you. to uh, give uh, you uh, an Andre points? point. Oh, Wait, thanks, Andre. I, you know, Andre, I was I was gonna give you two points just because that that smile is really really nice. Well, oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Wait, so yeah. so wait, so Anthony's getting an Andre point. Mm-hmm. Anthony, are you giving two of your Asaf points to Andre? I'm 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 giving him two of my Asaf points. I'm getting him a uh, hundred of my Anthony points. Okay, Just so I, that, I gotta start writing this down. So can, I, can I give myself negative 10 Andre points? No, I don't want you can't do that. That's crazy. You can so only Anthony, give yourself points that are Anthony, your points. You, you can't. You've currently got 33 Asaf points. Andre had 14, now bringing him up to 16. Uh, Andy yeah. has zero. 
I could be watching Frasier right now. Andre, you're on tap. Are you ready to attempt to guess the movie? I'm watching Frasier right now on a second monitor. <laughs> oh, yeah? Which episode? Uh, the one where Niles uh, is uh, all over Daphne. Mm. That's like oh, most of the episode. Great noise, by the way. Um, uh, Andre, it's time for you to guess the movie. It goes as follows. The future of civilization rests in the fate of the, quote, one ring as powerful forces are <laughs> relenting or rather unrelenting in their search for it after it has been placed in the hands of a young <laughs> hobbit who inherits the ring. Andre, any guesses? Well, based on the synopsis, I'm going to go with... Well, he uh, hasn't had a chance to even answer yet. He gave, uh, Andre gave you about two minutes to answer, and all you were talking about was uh, penises with your uh, guess. It sounds like uh, part of the Lord of the Rings trilogy, and I'm going to guess from the uh, fact that he inherits the ring from his uh, family that it's uh, Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring. Andre, that is correct. Oh, thank you, James. Wow. You're welcome. I'm going to uh, give myself an Andre point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you uh, you had 16, and now you have uh, an extra 20, so you're up to 36 SF. Hey, Andre, have you seen the porn version of that movie? Uh, what's that? The, the Lord of the Rings? A triple X parody? Is it like a Lord of the Cock Ring or something like that? Yeah, that's a that that's a great parody. I'm giving you, know you one James I'll, point I'll give that. you an Andy point. Oh, thanks, guys. That's I really appreciate that. A four loco toad also correctly answered in the chat. It's true. He also said, "Man, Andre, shut yeah, up." Andre, Andre could have read that. So doesn't it that came mean... in after? I can confirm. Okay. Andy, yeah. look, you can get on the board here. Twenty points are up for grabs. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna uh, do a daily double. Well, you can't do that. Uh, you get one per game. Well, that's Jeopardy. This is uh, a sap versus a sap. I think. Let's take a vote. Can I get a daily double on this one, guys? Okay. Well, Andre, what do you think? You know, he's had a sort of a rough show in so far, so I say, why not? Give, let's give him a chance. Normally on a daily double, you uh you don't you bet what you uh yeah, what you I'm have. Yeah, bet Andre's <laughs> points. You can't bet Andre's <laughs> points. Anthony, what do you think? Are we giving him a daily double? Yeah, why not? I mean, yeah. look, he, okay. 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 You, you know what? You know what? Like I'll, I'll say one thing. Like Andy knows movies if it, if it, you know, can help his self-esteem, if it can make him like feel better about himself, then yeah, for sure, 100%. So this is 40 points. And I know you're gonna try and trick me. You're gonna put some like, oh, this this French film from 1393. It'll probably be uh, Mappy Secret. 1390s three. Yeah, it's it's some stone tablet that was uncovered in some say is the first film. Okay, well look, Andy, let's just get right to it. I'm All gonna right, read you your synopsis. We know points. that you like movies. Yeah, incoming. Let's go. In post-apocalyptic America. Mm. Oh, I can't wait to hear what it's about. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> Go ahead, James. Is that it? <laughs> Is that all of it? <laughs> uh, again, I'm getting these in real time. In post-apocalyptic America. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. In post-apocalyptic America, semen is the main trade and power source, and the lower the radiation content, the better. Women run everything, with men reduced to milk factories. <laughs> Take a second to think about it, Andy. There's a lot of post-apocalyptic films out there. Once again, in post... Mm, is this the weird fake Chinese porn video that Jordan Peterson retweeted? Is in this... post-apocalyptic America, semen is the main trade <laughs> and power source, and the lower the radiation content, <laughs> the better. Women run everything, with men reduced to milk factories. What? This is the plot of the movie. That's a synopsis. I know this movie. Oh, I, think, I think I know, it as, know well. this I think movie. I it as well. So wait, wait. Yeah, I, this is a this is one a real movie. Yes. Yeah. And two, <laughs> that is the plot of the movie. Yes. If 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 Andy's not getting it, can I can I try a steal? I haven't even gotten a chance to answer. I'm, no, I know. I'm just I'm just. All right, I'm just yeah. Look, he, you... he asked 